even right now you might be in a position where you clearly hear God telling you to stop. He's clearly like, don't do it. This is not where you should be at. This is not what you should be doing. This is not the path that I have for you. And I want to encourage you to yield. And so many times in life, I have ignored those signs. I did not yield. I did not stop. And there was a price to be paid. Most times when we don't take heed to them warning signs, when we should stop, we end up paying a price that we could have prevented if only we had listened. I am outside it is about 98 degrees the wind is blowing so if you hear some wind if you hear some cars and stuff bear with me you guys know i am outside everybody's still home my husband's still working from home my mom is in there and our five children are inside of the house okay so happy friday you guys know the first thing that we do here on fridays is friday shout outs so let's get into it today i want to give a shout out to taylor may tv who is Sheila? Because today, if it serves me correctly, it's your wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary to you and your blue Greg. Okay, you in the hub dub Greg. Am I gonna say it? Greg, don't come for me if, if I did. All right. Happy anniversary to you and your husband. <laughs> you know that we love you, and I pray nothing but blessings in God's favor, mercy, grace, and keep you guys forever because marriage ain't easy i don't care what nobody's saying you know what i'm saying so y'all are doing the thing hi brandon hi jays hi buddy how y'all doing so the shout out is going to tell tv and if you guys do not know them i'm gonna drop a link right here go and check them out you guys already know i have my coffee you go ahead and grab whatever you need so we can get into this friday mommy moment and thank you guys so much who have been supporting our etsy shop i totally appreciate it you guys mean so so much all the encouraging words it's just amazing and i thank you so so much now let's jump into this friday mommy moment topic shall we be sure to check out seaward creation at etsy.com from custom moment mugs custom tumblers t-shirts logos keychains and more we look forward to working with you and remember all you need is a moment. All right, you guys. So let me just give you a backstory to what I was thinking about, right? I remember back when I was younger, we lived on a street called Vincent Street. And at the time, that was my last name. And this street was kind of like a windy road and it goes straight up a hill. And we lived on the very bottom on the right hand side. So we would always take bikes all the way to the top and we would like race them down. And sometimes I had a bike, sometimes I didn't have a bike. I know you like, what you mean sometimes you had a bike, sometimes you didn't have a bike. Yeah, sometimes I had a bike, sometimes I didn't have a bike. The bikes showed up, we rode them bikes. <laughs> the bikes wasn't there we didn't ride the bikes this particular day i didn't have a bike but there was a bike left over and this bike that was left over my brother was so adamant for me not to get on the bike right so it's like a bunch of kids and i'm like no nah, i got it i got it. i'm gonna get on the bike i'm gonna get on the bike i'm gonna ride the bike he was like no the bike is broke the handlebars don't work and i'm like no i got it i got it now look when you got the bike right whatever bike you was gonna ride down the hill the hill was so long and so up the road that we would walk our bikes up there. So I'm like, no, I got it, I got it. So the entire time, I still go ahead and get this bike and I'm walking it up the hill. He's like, put the bike back, put the bike back. I'm like, no, no, I can do it, I can do it. He's like, no, the handlebars is broke. I still keep going. All these signs and he's telling me, no, don't do it, don't do it. I'm still doing, I'm still doing. I know you're probably like, well, where's the parents? They ain't no parents. People got jobs. Like, we, for those of you new here, you grew up in the hood. Survival of the fittest. I'm serious. So there was no adults around, okay? Not at this time, anyways, okay? There was no cookout going on, people got jobs. My mom was a single mother, my father, you know, in and out, so, you know. But anyways, 
get to the top of the hill. My brother's like, put the bike down. I'm telling you, you so hard headed. You don't listen, you don't listen. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna ride this bike. I'm gonna ride this bike. So everybody lined up. It's like all our friends there. Of course, I'm always the only girl. We all ready to go down this hill. Mind you, my brother had been telling me to not go down this hill with that bike this entire time. Boom, we take off. So, you know when you start, like if, you, if you're going down a hill and that, that wind starts blowing, the first thing you want to do is, you know what I mean, you want to get up and you want to pedal. You know what I'm saying? Because you already got the momentum going, but you want to go faster. Y'all, I stood up like to stand up and the handlebars came straight up like this. What do you think happened next? Y'all, I straight went sliding down that hill, scuffed both my knees up, my hand was messed up. And you know, it's one of them scuffs that it scrapes it to the white meat. It went through the pants that I had on and scraped both my knees to the white meat. You know how if you get one of those, they call strawberries, it was huge. And you can't bend it, it feel like somebody that ripped your skin off. And then you have to ease into the water when it's time to take baths and stuff. It just hurts so bad for days. That's what happened to me. And while I was telling the story at the table to the kids and my husband the other night, and my husband, he went to the Google Maps and Googled the street so he can uh, zoom in and show the kids just how you know, intense this hill was, to show them the street that it was on, it was, it was crazy. But the thought that came to my head was, there were so many warning signs, so many times that I did not stop, so many times I did not yield, that I did not take heed to what was being said to me, don't do it, stop, you're gonna get hurt. Stop, put the bike back. Got to the top of the hill, stop, just put the bike back. And I still kept going. The first thing I thought about right then and there while telling that story is so many times in life, God is giving clear signs to stop, to yield, to turn back, and we don't turn back. Why did that come to me like that right then and there? I have no clue, but that's what I thought about, that my brother clearly was telling me, don't do it, you're gonna get hurt. It's broken, put it back, stop. Go all the way up the hill. You know how many times in life that there have been clear signs that I should not be doing something and I still proceeded and I did it and I got hurt or somebody else got hurt. Sometimes you guys, even right now, while I, this is so heavy on my heart to get this message out to you. Even right now, you might be in a position where you clearly hear God telling you to stop. He's clearly like, don't do it. This is not where you should be at. This is not what you should be doing. This is not the path that I have for you. And I wanna encourage you to yield. I wanna encourage you to stop because sometimes the end result, that fall, will cost us more than we want to pay. That cut will bleed more blood than we're willing to bleed. And so many times in life I have ignored those signs. I did not yield, I did not stop. And there was a price to be paid. But while I was telling that story to my kids and to my husband, it's like this message needs to get out. Sometimes when we don't take heed, most times when we don't take heed to the warning signs, when we should stop, we end up paying a price that we could have prevented if only we had listened, if only we had yielded to what God is trying to tell us. It's not worth it. It's just not. Are you willing to bleed? Are you willing for that pain to come? Or even the pain that it's gonna cause somebody else? And I know some people might be like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, that ain't me, that ain't me. No, no, I've been there, I've done that, and I continue to make dumb mistakes, hurtful mistakes. Not stopping when you should stop. But if you know better, you do better. Each one teach one. So this message is I don't know what's going on. I don't know who views these videos. I don't know everybody's life, but I do know when God puts something in my spirit to get out that I'm going to put it out. So whatever it is that you are in, yield, stop, stop because each one of us is special and God has a plan for every single last one of us. And I don't want hurt to be in your plan. 
especially if you can prevent it. Maybe he's putting people in your life. He's putting things in your life that's yielding. Doors might be being closed and you're still trying to open those doors. There might be a nagging mom, a nagging father, a friend, a sister, a brother, a cousin, a neighbor, who knows, that's saying, hey, that ain't like you don't do that. Hey, you're acting different. Take heed and yield and stop. And it might be so hard. You might be like, no, this, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. No, this, this feels so good right now. No, 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 stop. Stop. Take heed and yield. Because the worst thing you can end up on is on a bike, on the top of a hill, and them handlebars come straight off. And you fall. And you get hurt. And you bleed. And, and yes, my scars on my leg, eventually they healed. But some mistakes, we don't always get a chance to do over. They don't heal, it's different. Some things in life, God be like one and done. You blew your chance. You blew that opportunity. And yes, I've blown opportunities and I've missed out. Truly, truly I have. And I don't want that for you. So that's what I had to share with you guys today. I pray that it falls apart in somebody's heart and the, your heart is not hardened towards anything that I said. Love you guys for real. Until next time, stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people just like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Secret Family Channel, you are needed. Peace out, great people.